Hello again. Welcome to another Smile Create Repeat Art Supply Demonstration video. In this episode we will be creating a mixed media illustration with supplies from your October surprise. Alright, let's get started. So I'm just going to do a quick um, just pencil outline of what I'm going to try to do here. And I've already uh, drawn a thumbnail of it in my sketchbook which is what I recommend you do also just so you have a basic idea um, and I'm just using my pencil here just so you get the basic uh, layout it's just going to be some little critter uh, standing outside That'll be there, maybe his arms like that. Not sure what he's doing. Maybe just standing there saying, hey. Then we'll have some something here. That I don't need to draw, and that I don't need to draw. That I need, do need. And then something like that. So that's really all I got for that. I'm going to take my... Um, water soluble crayon and I drew the shirt and I know I want I'm going to try to leave the shirt white and the rest of it I'm just going just getting it down and I do want it darker um, towards the right actually let's do it the other way I'm going to have it darker near the top and lighter at the horizon, which is where the land meets the sky. So I got a basic t uh, value tone over it, and now I'm going to press a little harder near the top. And I'm just doing the very top of it dark so I can see how dark it's actually going to get. And then I'm going to go softer and fade it as I go down. I should have told you fill up your water brush. Ah, just kicked the camera. Sorry about that. So just adding the dark up at the top and right now I'm just getting trying to get some of the crayon onto the paper trying not to make too many uh, patterns with my strokes just trying to make it pretty soft and smooth but I'm not worrying about it too much having strokes all right, now, so the water brush, here we are again. So how to fill this is you just go to the faucet, take the top off, and then I just dripped water in there. It fills it up, and then as you squeeze it, the water comes to the brush, and it's really nice. You'll also want a tissue or a paper towel in case you have uh, a little too much water come out. Or if you want to dry your brush. <clears throat> so here we are. So I'm going to just... Being careful because I want the white of the t-shirt to be the white of the paper. So what, I'm, what I did there is I added water to the crayon and then I dabbed it to try to get some of the color off because I want it I do want it lighter down there okay 
Oh, we had a little trip there. That's fine. And now I'm just, and some of the water is dripping, which is fine because it's just, it's softening it up and making some really neat happy accidents. You can see the different levels. And I'm squeezing the paint, uh, the, the brush pretty hard, but you can really see how stormy and dark that sky's looking. That's what I was looking for. Maybe this Thanksgiving monster illustration. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> you can see I'm focused on my drawing, not about talking to you, sorry. Alright, just drying up the little bit of water I spilled. And now I'm just squeezing a little bit of water while I'm dabbing. You don't want to squeeze too hard, it might come out too fast. But that's just uh, just trying to clean off the brush so it's ready for next time without having any of this on there. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit while we're waiting, and you can see the water's running here, right here. So if you want, you can tip the paper up and try to move it, see if it creates something you like. I don't want that hard edge, so I'm going to tip it up this way so the water's falling back down and it's going to soften that edge back up and it'll probably make some different shapes and textures there. My table's angled, so I'm going to leave that up there to dry while I get ready for the next part. So we have this tan paper, this craft paper in here. Um, I like using this because it's uh, colored, it's brown. So when you put dark on it, you can see it, or uh, with our white paint pen, we'll be able to use that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rip it and use this as the ground here that this little guy's standing on. So I'm going to try to rip it so it's kind of straight, but so there's some variety of texture. Oh, I hope I ripped enough. I don't know if I did. That's all right. Let's see if it'll work. Yeah, no, not really. Close, but no. So maybe I'll do... All right, so there we go. I did it perfectly. Look at that. So we'll use that piece. We'll use this piece instead. So I'm going to put that on there as the ground. Eh, I don't want quite that much right there. So rip that piece off. And that's going to be... And I want to rip this off a little bit too. I don't want that bump there. I want it to be a little straighter. And that can maybe d be distant trees or whatever it is. And I still need this to dry. Because I'm going to... Actually, let's go back in there now. I'm putting, this is the sky I'm going to put in some closer trees right here. So I'm grabbing the crayon again, and while it's wet, I'm really going to get in there. Some places it's wet, some places it's not. But these are going to be some closer trees. So I'm just trying to, I'm not drawing the trees, but I'm trying to get the texture to, in, to represent some trees and foliage back there. And you can see how it reacts differently on the wet and dry. So try to experiment with that. And right there, there's a little bit of white dry paper showing through, which I kind of like. So I tried to keep that. So let's get some, just filling it in there. I'm not using the point of trying to use the side because I want it to be just really broad strokes and 
and we'll see what happens, right? Oh, like that right there. That was uh, the edge of my crayon hitting there where I didn't want it to, but maybe I do. Maybe a couple extra dark clouds in there. And we'll be all right. All right. So now that I have that, I'm getting my water brush again because I want to soften these edges a little bit here. So if I just dab it with the water, it'll soften and I'm just doing the bottom edges of the clouds. And then in here, in the trees, I'm just trying to fill it and really fill it in so it looks consistent. And then we'll bring it down here to add a little layer, another layer of texture and variety. And then this will also, I want to soften some of these edges for the trees because there's they're round, so they're some of the leaves in the back, there aren't going to be a lot of leaves on these in Halloween, but just all the sticks then. Yeah, there's still going to be some leaves because the wind hasn't howled yet. Okay. So some of the foliage is still on there. Again, cleaning my brush. Good. All right, so now that really does need to dry. And then we're going to go in and add a few more just sticks and twigs with our pencil um, after. So now I'm going to do, get this land on there. Oh, that is, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, let's get rid of that little, oops, that was too much. Bugger. I gotta fix that. Cause that was too much of a, a drop. It's not what I wanted. Yep, that either. Alright, let's see how that looks. Arg. Alright, so that'll be there. Let's bring that down a little bit. We'll do it at an angle. Then we'll put another layer of foliage in front of them. And maybe we do want this one. Nope. And part of this is just figuring out like this. I ripped this not exactly how I wanted it to, and you can of course use scissors if you want to. Um, but I'm going to do it this way because it's part of the creative process and the problem solving, so. So right here I need to rip out a little bit here, because this is where his shirt is. And I want to keep white. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do for the shirt. I'm going to erase that if you have an eraser. Just erase, erase the lines I used. Now this is something <clears throat> that you'll just need to, you'll need to have some glue if you have any. Use that or tape, obviously, whatever you'd like. Um, And I'm just going to use one of those pieces of scrap that I ripped off to spread it around a little bit to try to keep it from squishing out onto my drawing. Okay, now let's see what we got here. All right, so there's that. And this is the crumpled piece of paper. Um, so it has some texture. I don't know if you, oh yeah, you can see that. 
um, which I wanted. Um, I have my scissors and I'm going to cut this off just so I can really see where my drawing, my illustration starts and ends so I can uh, work on the composition with an accurate edge of the picture. I probably just smudged all the back. Nope, I didn't. Great. And so this piece here is showing and up here is a little more showing. Inside, if you put a, if you picture a little frame on here or something, some of that will be hidden, but I'm still going to put an extra layer of something on there. Alright, so now we have this piece of uh, the ground here, and I want to add uh, some variety to it, so I am going to just use my regular pencil and shade in some grass texture with some vertical strokes varying the size and direction of them and then as I get closer to the top they'll get smaller and lighter and over here so it's darker on the bottom so that'll also bring it'll make it look like there's more light over by the center of interest And this doesn't need to be real dark, it's just to add something, and just to show it's incorporating more of um, the pencil with the paper. And again lighter as I get closer to the top of the hill. And I'm just going to see here. No, that's still wet, so we can't draw in lines for those trees yet. So that's where we are so far. Alright, let's... <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit more over here. Because I'm going to put a bush in there now. And actually, let's do that with the gray paper. So now we have the gray, and I'm going to try to put something right there. So I'm going to carefully try to rip it in some sort of free-flowing organic shape that might resemble the silhouette of a bush or something. And then maybe rip a little piece here and there. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then I'm going to put that there. I was going to do that anyway, but I'm definitely doing it now because this little corner is showing. So I'm going to grab my glue or tape. Obviously, tape is not as messy. Either double sided or regular, regular tape that you just loop over. Um, spreading it around a little bit with my, now with the tissue that I stuck that other piece of paper in. So now we have four layers. We have the sky, the trees, the ground, and then this plant. And to make it look like that, I am going to grab my crayon here. And just add some sticks. Some little branches of the tree, and then do a little bit of shading just to make it, that's neat, if you do it on the side, and I'm doing it on the side, so then you'll see it when you do your own if you do this, or when you do this, hopefully, if you do it on the side, hold your crayon to the side, it's not getting all the way around the edge where we ripped. So you can see there's that slight edge of light, which is kind of neat. Which is what we're looking for. So it's, again, the light is coming from over here, shining on there, and just catching the edge of that. 
where the rest of this bush is maybe in the shadow. And now I'm pushing a little harder right on that edge to really try to get that to pop. But again, use the side of your crayon so it doesn't go all the way around. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna, I'm going to make the head of this little guy. And I have this paper here. Um, so I'm just going to, I need a, needs to be about that big, so let's see if we can use that edge. Try to make some sort of shape. I think that's perfect. I'm going to try to make some sort of hat for him, I think. And that I want, I'm going to use the straight edge of the cut paper that we got. Whoops, that was a big grip, but I got the piece I needed. And then it's going to be a top hat. So I'm going to use the other piece, another straight edge. And you can, of course, use scissors. I'm just... That's funny, I was just going to use them here. Um, I'm going to try to just rip it, because I want to see what accidents can happen. How can I creatively solve the problem when I use these ripped pieces of paper. So these are getting kind of small um, to use, so I mean to glue. So this head's too big, so I need to rip some of the head away, and it's too tall for the paper I'm using. So maybe that's like a fuzzy animal, a fuzzy critter. Okay. Then his hat. Nope. Uh, maybe I'll just draw his hat on. Yeah, we'll try that. And then if that doesn't work, then we'll go back and try to put more paper on there. So that's his head. And then he needs shorts. Okay. So let's see what we got for a scrap here. That'll be that. That's wide enough. And let's make those shorts a little shorter, or, or his waist to his legs are small, his big uh, body. And then we'll just rip a little piece in between where his legs go. And they're raggedy shorts, he's a monster. Doesn't buy new clothes all the time. Alright, and then he's just going to have little feet. And that's, that's going to be fun because we're going to use the white pen to add the details of his face and the pencil. So I just use a couple little drops of glue right there and we're going to add details on his shirt. Let's get his head This is the uh, the Elmer's glue stick that we uh, sent in one of our past boxes. So if you have that, that's what I've been using. If not, of course, any glue um, or tape will work. All right, and I have it off center. Have it that way because he's sticking his head out that way to see what's in those trees. Is there something in those trees? Uh, there is something in those trees, and I will show you. A little later, a little glue came out. So I'm going to dab it just to get that cleaned up. Okay. So while the glue's drying, we're going to go ahead and do... What are we going to do for his feet? Um, so he has legs there. I'm just doing it with the pencil here real quick. Just so I have some idea of what I'm going to do. Yeah, just little feet like that. Okay. Maybe his... It's just pencil. But he's got some nice white shoes. 
So now we have a paint pen. This is a nice one because you don't have to push down and don't push down hard on the tip. It's just like a regular marker. Except it's paint. So he's got his nice white shoes on. Just because he's a monster doesn't mean he can't dress nice, I guess. And let's make him boots. Okay. All right, let's add. Uh, so he's got a little button on there. Maybe he's got a rope belt. So we're leaving space for the loops. And maybe they're just a little ratty. So he's got some stuff on him. Who knows? And there's a zipper. Okay. So now we're gonna do the, the face. I have his. I have, we'll do his eyes. with the white paint. It's a cool paint pen. It's always fun drawing uh, white on things because we don't really do it much. Because usually we have white paper and that's what we use as you know. Um, I'm going to use the water soluble crayon just so it's a little bigger. I'm going to draw his nose on there. Just uh, get the pencil back in there. Clean up the edge and then I'm going to draw his smile. Just because he's a monster doesn't mean he's not nice, right? And I'm leaving a little space here. So I'm going to go ahead and give him some, well maybe one tooth. Let's see. Yeah, a good one tooth. Maybe it's a baby monster or something. So we'll do that one tooth and then we'll have to we'll go over and just finish filling in the rest of the his mouth. And I'm going sharp along the tooth there and then going back over the mouth on the top. And then I'm just going to wait for the paint to dry. Then I'm going to go ahead and draw in um, his pupils. And this guy is a really great uh, friend of ours here. It's Smile, Create, Repeat. So he has his SCR t-shirt on. Because he's a monster, you know. You get it, I know. He's not a pirate, but he still is, still says R. Okay. And now we got to add the pencil. So what should his hands be doing? Maybe it's. Um, Got long, skinny arms, and this one is waving. Oh, not as it's not working quite on the watercolor paper with the pencil. So I'm gonna go in, use my crayon again. Because it's softer. 
So let me do that over here too. And just giving him a simple hand and he's waving. With those big shorts. Let's see how our pencil works. But he's looking over here because he sees something. So what is he? What is he looking at? I don't know. I think I know, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I think he needs... I am going to give him a little hat. Let's see what these scraps look like. Alright, so that piece... Uh, do I have another piece? I have this piece. That could be a silly hat. I don't want this straight edge. The sharp line from the ruler, from the cut. We'll give him that little silly little hat. Just putting a little more glue on the back. Then we'll put it right there. Hey, it looks like it could be a, an acorn or something. Um, yeah, let's add some white. I like the white. So let's add, um, I don't know, some, some stripes to it. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little more pattern just to try to make it a little more interesting. Yeah, let's do it down there too. Okay. Alright, so let's see if this is going to Nope, that's not showing. So we're just going to add... And they're really faint, which is fine. I just want to draw some... A couple little sticks sticking out, because some of the leaves are blown off. The leaves. And did they blow off? Or were they knocked off? By the ghost? hiding in here. So let's clean that off. And if you get some of that pencil on your paint, just wipe it off. And I'm just going back in and touching up the the white. Just putting a little more paint on there so it's a little more intense. Okay. And some of the grass is coming over these shoes, so I'm going to go back and add that in. And now I'm just dabbing, because I'm trying to get this more white for the ghost. And now I'm going to go in, once that dries, I'm going to go in and just add a little bit of, there's a couple eyes there. So in this part, we would glue down. So that's what we have. So you got to, and this is just a demonstration, so of course you can do your own thing with the, the wash and the crayon. Um and the water brush. You could do a really nice uh, tonal drawing, a realistic illustration, whatever you want with watercolor and just that one color um, of the charcoal pencil. Um, and then you can go ahead and add little details um, with the paint pen 
on whatever you want. So maybe there's some. Oh yeah, let me. Uh, maybe there's some flowers. in the grass here, like uh, the gouache monster had. He had some flowers. Maybe they're... Right? And that's part of the fun. Like I said before, with the white on these uh, dark surfaces, and just using and being creative with whatever um, however you want to do it in just different ways and if you're a scrapbooker you could use this uh, pen on different papers you have that you scrapbook with and I think this pen also works on um, other materials so I'm just adding a little more paint. So, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and being a part of this. Please share what you've created uh, online, and if you do, tag it with hashtag. Smile, create, repeat, uh, so we all can see it. Um, and remember to look on the back of your creative card so you could submit the art you've made for this box or any of the past boxes and submit as many as you'd like uh, to be included in our SCR calendar. Um, that'll be a downloaded calendar where you can print it out and it'll be uh, 12 months and it'll be great to have all the artwork, uh, some that I've done and then everything that uh, all you guys have made. Um, if you're new to Smile Create Repeat, you can learn more about us on our website at smilecreaterepeat.com and if you have any comments or questions you can email us uh, the links on the website or uh, comment in the comments section below this video. So thank you again so much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little demonstration and I can't wait to see what you created. Thank you.